Russia offer Iran an agreement on military cooperation and urgently sell the most modern weapons so that no one dares throw anything in the direction of Iran, Vladimir Zhirinovsky, leader of Russia's Liberal Democratic Party, said earlier this month. He expressed confidence that the S-400 or S-500 missile defense systems would be able to close the entire sky over Iran. Russia had previously considered selling military equipment to Iran, whose capabilities are now significantly limited by the UN arms embargo related to its nuclear program, but that should end in the fall of 2020, Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov emphasized in December. Despite considerable delays, Russia's armed forces are expected to induct the S-500 long-range surface-to-air missile system into frontline service sometime before the end of 2021, with serial production having begun early in 2018 and advanced prototypes already fully operational for testing purposes. The S-500 is expected to add an additional tier to Russia's already extremely formidable air defense network and is designed primarily to counter emerging threats from enemy hypersonic missiles and aircraft, space planes and upcoming generations of stealth aircraft. The system will have an engagement range of at least 600 kilometers and be able to engage targets in space, meaning that if sold abroad it would provide several countries with a serious upgrade to their anti-satellite capabilities. Although the S-500 is being designed primarily to neutralize high-value targets, it can also engage stealth fighters if needed, and its powerful sensor sweep can network with and complement those of existing air defense systems such as the S-400 and S-300 V-4 to better allow them to counter stealth aircraft. Although the S-500 is a much higher-end system than the S-400 and S-300 platforms, it is expected to be marketed abroad for export much as all post-Soviet Russian multi-role air defense systems have been. With the U.S. set to deploy a new generation of fighters, B-21 bombers and hypersonic space planes for both reconnaissance and bombing roles, the appeal of the S-500 is expected to be particularly high to provide a cost-effective means to counter these threats. A look at the leading potential clients for the S-500 system is given below. The latest annual report by the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency states, Iran's potential acquisitions after the lifting of UNSCR 2231 restrictions include Russian Su-30 fighters, Yak-130 trainers and T-90 MBTs. It adds, Tehran has also shown interest in acquiring S-400 air defense systems and Bastion coastal defense systems from Russia. While traditionally skeptical of such reports, Russian experts concede moves are possible in the case of anti-aircraft defense systems. In 2016, Iranian Defense Minister Hossein Degan had noted that Tehran would not buy the S-400 Triumph because its purchase of Russia's S-300 PMU-2 anti-aircraft missile system met its needs for long-range systems. The Iranian military also uses its own Beaver 373 long-range air defense system, which is considered equivalent to the S-300. Two Russian military sources who spoke to Al Monitor on the condition of anonymity said that negotiations for Iran to buy Russian weaponry, including the latest equipment, intensified in April 2019 during the 8th Moscow Conference on International Security organized by the Ministry of Defense. In May, Iranian Defense Minister Amir Hatami attended an interagency consultation in Moscow. Bloomberg reported at the time that Russia had not responded to Iran's official inquiries regarding a potential S-400 purchase. Ruslan Pukov, head of the Moscow Center for Analysis of Strategies and Technologies, noted back then that such hardening by Iran could lead to escalation in the region.
If the Russian side decides to supply the S-400 to Iran, this would be a direct challenge to Moscow's partners in the Middle East," Pukov warned, adding that if Russia rejected such a request from Iran, this means it wants to develop ties with Saudi Arabia and Israel and preserve a chance. Nonetheless, during the Russia's Army 2019 International Military Technical Forum in June, representatives of the country's Federal Service for Military Technical Cooperation announced its readiness to supply Iran with an indefinite number of S-400 systems. Meanwhile Iraq is reportedly in discussions with Russia to purchase defense systems. Russia and Iran signed an agreement on naval and military cooperation, the details of which have not been disclosed. Russian media interpreted the expansion and cooperation to extend beyond conducting joint exercises to cover parameters for military technical cooperation, including air defense systems. Indeed, the U.S. policy of maximum pressure on Tehran could push Russia to provide means of deterrence for the victim of aggression, as some Russian experts view Iran. Russia had previously decided to supply the Iranians with an S-300 system to beef up their defense capabilities and stimulate negotiations on the Joint Comprehensive Action Plan JCPOA, nuclear deal. That's how Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov explained the decision after the Russian president lifted the ban on S-300 deliveries to Iran in 2015. Military technical cooperation with Iran, however, would make Russia the target of international pressure. This happened in the case of Iran's accidental downing of a Ukraine International Airlines Boeing 737-800 near Tehran on January 8 killing all 176 passengers on board. On January 14, Volodymyr Yulchenko, Ukraine's ambassador to the United States, said that those who gave the order to fire on the plane and possibly those who supplied these missiles, which were Russian, should be held responsible for the crash. Yulchenko believes there are many components to the tragedy, including the alleged Russian footprint in the form of the Tor missile system. He stressed that it is necessary to talk about a certain international responsibility. Russian experts are uncertain about Moscow exploiting the current crisis to promote arms and military equipment deals with Tehran. Andriy Frolov, a military analyst and editor-in-chief of the journal Export Beruzhiny, Arms Export, told Al Monitor that the purchase of air defense systems is not a priority for Iran. Covering the whole country would be enormously expensive, whereas projects to protect key facilities have already been funded.